Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. This week we are talking about sleeping on your wedding dress decision. Is it a good idea or a bad idea? I am giving you all my thoughts on this in this week's video. Before we dive into this week's topic, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, drop me a comment below, let me know if there's a particular video you'd like me to create a video on. I am here for you, guiding you along the way leading up to your special day. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I am so honored that you have found me. I am, of course, a wedding fashion expert, stylist, buyer, wear so many different hats at Lavella Bridal located in Los Angeles, California. For daily content, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Lavella Bridal, at Lavella Plus, and at Wedding Fashion Expert. Be sure to hit that follow button on TikTok at Lavella Bridal and at Wedding fashion expert as well. I cannot tell you the number of brides that tell me they want to go home and sleep on the decision before they say yes to the dress. I want to share with you a little bit about what happens and my experience watching brides do this. So when you go home to sleep on a decision, which makes sense for practical decisions in the sense of if you are making a big purchase on a car and you're going to go home, run the numbers, kind of think on it, go back to the dealership and see how you feel the next day. Totally cool. It's pretty practical, not so much of an emotional decision. I do think that cars could be potentially an emotional decision for some people, but for the majority of us, a car decision is a very practical decision that we are using every single day to get to and from where we need to go. So when thinking about things that are practical, it does make sense that we get in the habit of just mulling it over, sleeping on it, seeing what feels right, and moving forward accordingly. However, when it comes to your wedding dress decision, it is a more emotional based decision. And what's a little bit more unique about it is that you are not buying exactly what you see. While other items you are going in store or going to dealerships or going to places to, to see it and then you buy it. Very few decisions are we actually placing an order on. Well, yes, you could place an order on a car, place an order on different things. However, when it comes to wedding dresses, well, yes, you're physically seeing what it is. However, the fit, the cut is not altered to you. So you are trying on dresses that are not 100% what you are wearing down the aisle yet. Well, yes, the design is the same. However, the fit and the way that your body looks in it for photography and all of that is going to change because of the alteration process. So when you go home and you sleep on a decision for wedding dresses, oftentimes I see brides have analysis paralysis. They're zooming in, they're really overanalyzing every single little component about the dress, really forgetting to look at the overall image of it. And I see brides make a lot of wrong decisions because they are making it based on the fact of being out of the dress and very methodical and very analytical into what they see on their phone. What I recommend you do is you wear the dress so you see how you feel in it because the way you feel in the dress is a very important and critical part of the decision making process. Plus, looking in the mirror, so wearing it how you feel, seeing yourself in the mirror how you look, staring at the photo to see how it photographs. So in a way you're creating this triangle, mirror, photo, feeling, mirror, photo, feeling. And this triangle is your decision-making factor. So you make your decision while you are in the dress, not at home, sleeping on it, analyzing photos and zooming in onto something that is not actually your physical dress. If you are not ready to make a decision in store and you want to go home and process, totally cool. Do not stare at the photos. Do not look at anything. Go home, sleep, come back to the store with a clear mind, feeling how you look, photo, triangle. Then you make your decision. And if you are between multiple dresses, you go back and forth between the dresses doing the exact thing that I am saying. And that's how you make the decision. And you will not have buyer's remorse and you won't regret it because you've considered all the components, how you're feeling, how you look, how it photographs. Keep in mind, if you love everything you're seeing, it's going to be even better once it's 
altered to you and fits you the way that it is supposed to. I have seen so many brides go home, send photos, ask various people's opinions, and this is where the analysis paralysis comes in. You start gathering all this information and people are giving you blind opinions based on something that they have zero context of. They are blindly seeing a photo. They don't know how you felt in it because let me tell you something. I know when a bride likes a dress and doesn't like a dress and if she's happy in it or if she's not so happy in it or meh by it based on how her energy is, right? If she's dancing and moving and feeling sexy, you know she likes it. If she's just standing there and kind of bored with it, mm, it's not it, okay? So being with you in person really helps your stylist, and also those with you understand what you're vibing with. If you're blindly sending a photo to go home while you're sleeping on it to analyze it with everybody, it's really not fair to you because you are asking people to give a blind opinion on something that they were not involved in. Anyone that you plan to ask opinions on your dress and really take that into consideration into your decision-making process, they need to be with you at the appointment. That is the only way that it makes sense for them to give their opinion because they know how you landed on that dress. If you blindly send a photo, they have zero context into maybe you're sending them a fitted photo and they want to know what a ball gown looks like on you, but you already tried a ball gown. You didn't feel beautiful in it. Now you have to explain this to that person. So I want you to be really mindful when making these decisions that if you are going to include people, they need to be a part of it in person. All in all, everything with your wedding dress decision needs to be decided in person, not when you step away from it. When you step away from it, you forget how you felt in it. And if you feel beautiful in it, it is a win-win and a no-brainer decision. And when you're doubting your dress, because there will be moments when you do, when you're having regret or you're feeling like, did I make the right decision? I encourage you to reflect on how you felt while you were in it. You made it for a reason while you were in it. I hope that this video was helpful and gave you insight on my thoughts and things that I've seen people do, which is make a decision that they regret because they made it based on the photo and they didn't consider all the things that I'm saying in this video. And then they end up wearing a dress down the aisle that they didn't love, that they didn't feel beautiful in, and that comes through when you zip yourself up on wedding day. It sets the tone. Think of a night out where you went out, you felt really beautiful and confident and you were vibing with your outfit. It is the same thing you want on wedding day. So the decision that you're making is a dress that you feel beautiful in, not sleeping on it at home. It's while you're in it. You know which one you felt beautiful in when you're in it. Hope you found this video helpful. For more videos and tips like these, please be sure to tune in every Wednesday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I will see you in next week's video.